human dependence and impact on ocean systems. The TEK 8.11c recognize human dependence on ocean systems and explain how human activities such as runoff, artificial reefs, or use of resources have modified the systems. Do humans depend on ecosystems? If so, how? Yes, humans depend on many different types of ecosystems. So how do humans depend on oceans? I've listed five ways here. The first way is transportation of goods between continents. Number two, for food. Number three, for water. Number four, natural resources. And number five, recreational purposes such as swimming, skiing, boating, fishing. Ways the ocean ecosystem has been modified by humans. The first way humans have modified oceans is by creating artificial reefs. An artificial reef is a human-made underwater structure typically built to promote marine life. The word marine means water, so the life that lives there. These reefs provide hard surfaces where algae and invertebrates such as barnacles, corals, and oysters can attach. Here's three examples of artificial reefs. Another way humans have impacted ocean ecosystems is pollution. Pollution is very detrimental to the ocean ecosystem. In this picture here, you see a lot of trash and garbage on the beach area. And when the tide comes in, it pulls all of that trash into the ocean. So I'm going to show you a couple of pictures of how this pollution can affect the marine life. Here you see a turtle that's caught in a net of some sort. Here this bird has some type of bottle that it will probably try to ingest or eat. Now the next picture is a little gruesome. It's a cross section of a bird that is deceased and the reason why is because it ate a lot of the trash and garbage that was in the ocean ecosystem. The next way we impact ocean ecosystems, um, one that's usually unintentional is oil spills. The second largest and largest unintentional marine oil spill in history is the Deepwater Horizon accident in the Gulf of Mexico. This accident occurred in 2010, where the Deepwater Horizon vessel released about 570,000 tons of crude oil into the sea. Now, there's a movie that has been made about this incident called Deepwater Horizon. Um, when you get a chance, look it up on Netflix and watch it. It's a great depiction of what happened. Another way we impact ocean ecosystems is um, toxic chemicals from factories and cities. It will run off into the rivers and collect in the Earth's oceans. As a result of these pollutants, many fish are killed. The next way is from runoff. Runoff from land from um, things such as fertilizers or pesticides can result in algae bloom. If you look at the little picture here of the little boy that's in this water, he is in the middle of a algae bloom. Algae bloom can produce poisonous substances that can kill organisms that eat them and use of oxygen in the water.
Here's just a picture of animals eating trash from ships in recreational boats. And the last way that we impact ocean ecosystems is from fishing or overfishing or over harvesting. There are laws and rules and guidelines in place to keep this from happening, but it still occurs. Now, I hope you have enjoyed this lesson on human dependence and the impact we have on ocean systems. There is an accompanying note sheet for this in your Google Classroom.